Hey there, it's Mark. Thank you for tuning in to another Race Cruise unboxing video. Here we have the USA English packages, J case assortment. There is no I that goes right from H to J. By the way, if you are newer a collector, I made a video talking about treasure hunts from, from the very beginning. This is the 25th anniversary of treasure hunts. And in the beginning, they had different uh, no notations they had green stripes so it was pretty easy you would be able to look into the packages just look for that uh, look in the case just look for that green stripe and just pluck it out hopefully it would be nice if we got a super treasure hunt because this month the super treasure hunt or this uh, case the super treasure hunt is this car but in spectra flame paint this is regular light blue enamel you have the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento and it's the car that they chose to be the super treasure hunt. Again, this is the regular release. You're going to look for a version with Spectra Flame paint. That would be the super treasure hunt version. Now, they also started doing the recently since 2013. They started breaking it up between super treasure hunts and regular treasure hunts. Nope, McLaren P1. They have uh, supers and basics and basics are much more common to find. Here's a basic treasure hunt. If a J case has the basic treasure hunt, it's going to be this power pistons. And you can tell it has a circle flame logo right there in the graphics. It also has it in the artwork behind the car. You can see it right there. And it also has a little text blurb saying, you found a treasure hunt. Now the uh, super treasure hunt does not say, uh, it I think it just has a silver logo, a gold logo. Mm, I take it back. Maybe they, Maybe now they put... The text I forget but the basics will have a silver logo in back and the supers will have a gold logo here you have the 98 Honda Prelude brand new 2020 new model first release this is a first appearance in the H cases J case and it'll probably carry over to the K case as well very nice tail light decorations license plate and even an H logo for a Honda nice color I don't know about the red interior, but uh, it, it's look. This is if you find uh, as far as these two, this one's probably going to be the nicer one to have. If you find this great, if you don't like it, you can leave it for kids, let them play with it. It's a track car, they could send it through the boosters, loops, and curves. Since it is a new for 2020 model, they do have this information on the back. You can pause it if you'd like to read it. That's only on these English USA English packages. They do not put that information on the international packages. Here's the McLaren P1 again. Uh, I did, this is from the last case, it was in the H case. Here's another new model, the 20 Jeep Gladiator. This is new to the case, new period to Hot Wheels. It's the uh, first appearance. And here you have the Humvee, has camouflage all over it. Well, except for the back, uh, not in the front either. Let's go ahead and look at the blurb for the 20 Jeep uh, Gladiator. Sorry, there's the two bikes in the back. You have uh, it does look like it has decorations. Oh, the grill's painted. That must mean it looks to me like that's part of the plastic base. If they painted that, it kind of looks like it's part of the base. Hard to tell. And here's the information on the back. If you'd like to check that out. Let's go ahead and get three more cars. Another Jeep Gladiator. Uh, this looks very nice. Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Those are some mighty fine uh, graphics. Looks like it would be right at home in a uh, Fast and the Furious movie, don't you think? Wrap around graphics to the bumper. Let you see the logos. I try to pause and hold it as long as I can. Steady, because people like to see that kind of stuff. I don't want to do it with everything. 68 Chevy Nova. My video has kind of been running longer anyways, and uh, I don't want this one to be <laughs> as long as it has been. If I, if I have some cool things to show, I don't mind. Honda S2000, because people like to hear you know, information from me collecting for 20 years now. Over 20 years, Robo Race, Robo Car. 
as far as this 91 GMC Cyclone. New for 2020, it did show up in the last case, in the H cases. I, f I ran into an H case dump bin at Walmart just this week. I put the video on my, vid my Off the Pegs channel if you want to subscribe to that. I don't get to go out hunting that much at the moment, especially with our current uh, situation with the with the uh, virus. So mm, I'm glad I found some. I did not find this car. I did I did put in the dis I did put in a comment which models I did buy for myself. Cloak and dagger. That's a, a pop off car. They, they don't call it pop off, but 68 Shelby GT500 Flame Series. It was a pop-off series where you can pop off the body of the car, so that's why I call it a pop-off. But this one, it looks like you can still, uh, you probably can still pop off this clear shell, the x-ray shell. I'm looking. Yeah, and see how that has that tab right there? It looks like it still has the pop-off body. Fun stuff for those of you who like that. Eight crate, nice to see the white wall tires back. Underneath it, the Jaguar XJ220. Yeah, I picked me up another one out of that dump bin. Uh, I think I just bought one. I don't think I bought more than one. Pixel Shaker. I did not pick up any extras of the Pixel, sh Pixel Shaper. Which maybe I sh Pixel Shaker. Maybe I should have because uh, it could work for a video, future video. Uh, Croc Rod. Here you have Velocita, Velocita, Velocita. I don't know, Tokyo 2020, there you have it for the 2020 games, Tokyo 2020, Olympic Games in Tokyo. I'll have a look at the back in a second. I don't remember if it said something. I've shown a couple of the cars already, uh, that pink one right there. This one is a also Tokyo 2020. Here you have High Beam, nice track car. Does it have something? Well, it just has that High Beam. And yep, same thing. It says the same thing. And for you guys internationally, that last letter is J. J case assortment. Uh, I don't know if they put them on. They didn't for a long time. I don't know if they still do, but they don't put that on the. Hey, there's another one. 2020. They don't put the case code on the tab, the uh, J hook. I don't know why on the international cases. Very nice. Good track car, Sky Dome. I love that Plymouth Fury. Oh, pretty good for the Honda, too. Take a look at the flames for the Fury. Something different for the collection. Now for the Honda Civic. This was a new model last year in 2019. So now it is still getting colors. 2018 Honda Civic Type R. What do you think of the graphics? Uh, I think it was blue or black earlier this year. It was just black and it had a red base. That looked pretty sharp. That It just looked sharp. And then last year when it was introduced, it had a red version and it had a white version. So I believe this is the fourth color. There you go. Kind of hard to get through and see that, see that tiny graphics. This is not a new model this year, so it does not have... Um, I'm a descriptive description describing blah blah blah. Here you go, 2018 Ford Mustang GT. Underneath it, it's a BMW. I know, I, I know that because of the uh, colors. That's a giveaway. And that one, that's that Beetle. Beat all, right? Yeah, beat all. Uh, I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of plastic, but I like it. Looks like fun stuff. It's not a track car. Let me see what BMW is this. The BMW Z24. What? Z4, sorry, BMW Z4 M Motorsport. Oh yeah, Motorsport, that's right, it's this really long casting. Look at the splitter sticking out from the, uh, the front end. So uh, everybody knows it ain't gonna go through the loops. Well, that's not what this car's for. This is a, uh, this is a car for people to collect and display. Uh, sure, it'll go through the boosters, just as long as you don't have loops. I like how they implemented the, uh, this uh, coloration that they use for BMW. It's not just plain, it has a little bit of a style to it. Will I be picking up, up extras? Nah, no extras. I'll be fine with the couple I get out of the cases. And I, already, I think uh, I showed this one, 68 Shelby GT500. 
The few that I get out of the cases will be fine. And even if I do use it for track time, that's why it's, I have the cases, right? Hey, Tokyo 2020, you know what that means. Yeah, skateboarding. I should have been going slower and slower and talking about which sport it was. You, know, you were watching, right? You probably already seen. So this, this, it's interesting that they changed the name again. This is Skate Grom. There's, it's already been uh, two other names. It's, I think it's the same board. Hmm. I should be careful. I don't know. Now that I think about it, I don't think the board has changed in the dimensions. A for Audi Sport Quattro. This was this appeared in the last case. So if your stores skip the H cases, then you're in luck if they get the J case because then you'll still get this one. And some might say, well, why would a store skip a case? Well, because they buy so many cases per month and they're not going to buy more unless, you know, they sell what they already have. 16 Lamborghini Centenario, Centenario Roadster. Centenario Roadster. I can't believe I remembered that. Go ahead. Give me applause. Give me a little applause. You have decorations in the front and in the rear. And here you have this, I think, second color for this Batman bat plane. No, I don't need no extras. Twin mill generation E, Gen E. Nice, very nice color. Like it very much. I was talking about something and I forgot what I was saying. That's okay. Rock and Santa's. Wow, look at that color. Wow. Uh, British Royal Green, can you say? Jaguar XE SV Project 8. Wow, I'm glad I got the light real close because I'm sure you can see that uh, metal flake paint, yeah? And, uh, well, rockin' Santa slide. You gotta go. You gotta go compared to that Jaguar. We'll, we'll take a peek at the rest right after this. Cowabunga! There it is. Party wagon carries over into the J case. I did get myself a couple of party wagons at the store. And if you say, well, you already got a couple in the cases, why are you buying more? Well, because I can. And maybe I want to use them in the videos. Maybe I want them for whatever. With it's your money, you can buy what you want to buy. HW Formula Solar. I'm not going to buy a hundred of them. I, I have no need for a hundred of the party wagon. Now this is not a, this was in the H case, carried over. So uh, if you, once again, oh, that's what I was talking about. If, uh, why would a store not get every case code? Because if they don't sell all of the H cases, by the time they go to reorder, maybe Mattel's uh, J cases are all are already out of stock. So they get whatever Mattel has in stock. This was 2020, new in the last case. Did I show the back? I, I'm pretty sure I showed the back. I thought I paused while I was talking. There you go. So this was new in the last case. Brand new model. This is the first appearance, uh, first color, uh, second case appearance. It gets confusing. 19 Corvette ZR1 convertible. I did not pick up extras because of it not really being a track car because it has a splitter. It's all right. Whatever I get from the case will be fine for me or fine for videos. And then uh, there'll be other colors too. BMW K1300R. Kind of hard to see through the, uh, kind of has a f bit of a form fitting blister. So with all this contour, kind of makes it hard to see any details in there. Custom Auto. Uh, I'm surprised. Well, not really. Um, uh, I'm glad to see this in the basics. Hey, look, check it out. They have these, uh, form fit. This, oh, no, no, this is not form fitting. This is one of their standard blisters. Anyways, I was thinking back in the, uh, 90s when they had the China blisters where it'd really be form fitting. Custom Auto. Now, those of you might know, not know the history of this car. They're back in, uh, the late 60s, early 70s when Mattel first started Red Lines, Hot Wheels Red Lines. Yeah, they had a car on the package, but they never released that car. And then, I don't know, this, this, what do you call the Millennium? <laughs> I don't know when they released it, but they did release Custom Auto to their online store. No decorations. Their online site, they released a special Custom Autos. 
I believe this is the first ever release uh, for retail, isn't it? It has not been released in, say, any other line, right? Boulevard, nothing. I, I don't remember anything. Custom Auto, glad to see it. Now, the online version had metal body, metal base. So what do they do when they bring it to the, the basics, right? Metal body, but plastic base. And I would not be surprised. See this part right here? Is plastic they have the black plastic base coming up forming the rear end they also have it forming the front end uh, I don't have a custom auto handy it's in the garage and I'm not gonna stop the video uh, I'll look afterwards the the adult collectible version probably has metal in the front metal in the back another rockin Santa sled can you hear it rockin or was that you? Nah, the other noise. Here you go, another 98 Honda Prelude. And the Volvo 850 Estate. This color was in the last case as well. Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid to Sport Turismo. And uh, I like that. Some people don't like all that blue, but I like the presentation myself. 19 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss LT. That's, it was the other truck that was a new model. A little bit plain and white, but you know, they can't make every car uh, cherry red. You know, every truck gets a little boring. Bat plain again. There's another Corvette. 19 Corvette ZR1 convertible. There you have a. When is this new? Yep, new for 2020. It was released earlier this year. This is not the first color. It's a recolor. And Dotson Bluebird Wagon 510. Uh, popular car. Uh, this was in the last case. And I did not find any in the dump-in. Gone, all of them. Uh, all the best cars were gone from the dump-in. There was a Nissan, and I forgot to pick it up because it's white. Uh, it's that guacamole. What's that guy's name? <laughs> Guaxilla. Uh, the white version of that Guaxilla car. I didn't pick it up. It's white. It's just plain white. I have enough of the Guaxilla. And there'll be other there'll be other recolors. Party wagon. I uh, love the 68 Dodge Dart. I think this was one of the last three cars I pulled out of the case for the H case. Here's a new model. Check it out. You have Eric in, Erickenstein. It's going to take a little bit of practice. I think it's like Frankenstein. But instead, it's Eric, Ericenstein, Ericenstein, Ericenstein. Uh, take a little practice. Yeah, pretty cool car, pretty cool truck. Uh, I think it's a truck. It's more like a truck. Yep. Wouldn't be right to call it a car. What do you think? Uh, what do you think this front end? Uh, what do you think this front end is supposed to be? As far as is it uh, simulating another car or taking influence from what brand of trucks? I'm not sure. And since this is the first release, I don't think it's supposed to have a grill. I suspect it's supposed to be like that. Do I have another one? I think that's one right there. We'll keep this one handy for when we get to, hopefully there's another one. Another Datsun Bluebird wagon, another Porsche. And that was in the dump in too. 70 Dodge Power Wagon, not a new model. My stack's falling over. Nerve Hammer. Great track car. And it's been in some Hot Wheels video games. So if you like to play the video games, maybe you'd like to pick that color up. Volvo 850 Estate and High Beam. We already seen those. There's the Eric and, Eric and Thine. Another 68 Chevy Nova. Another Total Disposal. And so we'll check at the same time. The uh, front grille, probably supposed to be open. Yep, it's supposed to be open. Oh, unless I got two errors. They're both exactly the same. So I think that's how they went to use it, release it. You know, people don't like tuned cars, but then but then Mattel comes out with uh, this Eric and Stein, right? That looks pretty cool, actually. It's like a custom car. Whereas this one, uh, I'm seeing some pretty cool customs people are making with the manga, manga tuner. Let me see, manga, manga, manga. Now I forgot again. 
Uh, what was I going to look at? Forgot to look at the back. Oh, I was talking about that truck. Let's see. Slammed to the ground, wide-bodied, roll caged, and a blown engine. This hot rod truck was meant to haul something, but it ain't cargo. Let me see if they gave any credit to anybody. Any licensing. I don't see any licensing. So I guess it's uh, not borrowing any designs. Well, not, not until a company says, hey, that looks like my blah, blah, blah. Next thing you know, in the next release, it'll have licensing on there. Manga, manga. Why the manga? I forgot what it was. Anyways, I've seen some pretty cool customs with this. This is new in 2020 as well. Not the first color. I think it's second color, right? We had red. So we'll see. We'll see on another wagon. Three wagons in the case, at least. 64 Nova wagon gasser. Another nerve hammer. Custom 01 Acura Integra GSR. You know, when I see this, it keeps looking like it's upside down for some reason. I don't know why. There's your decorations. They got a little, it's not clear. They do have some on the spoiler there. Not a fan of those wheels. Another cloak and dagger, another one of the Silverado Trail Watch. And the last three, no Super Treasure Hunt. Now remember, the Super Treasure Hunt will have uh, that special paint, rubber tires. Jaguar XJ220, Robo Race Robo Car, and another Skate Grom. Will you stand up by yourself? Well, we'll just stand this up. Thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Happy collecting. And if you've played with your cars, have fun with your cars. If you like to collect, have fun collecting. So when I say have fun with your toys, it could be about collecting. Have fun collecting, right? Take care. See ya. Bye-bye.